Welcome everybody, it's Telem, and in this video we are going to be talking about Call of Duty World War II's headquarters mode, and we're going to be talking about some new information that kind of came out today because there was a live stream, and they released a trailer of the headquarters mode, and apparently it was originally released a couple hours before Call of Duty released it, it was released by Game Informer, which I was unaware of, but anyways, I'm going to be making it now, and we're just going to be talking about all really the new things, I'll kind of mention some things we already knew, but mainly we're going to be focusing on more of the new things we've seen in Inside this. Also, I do apologize if you hear some weird noises in the background. It's because a plane crashed outside my. I'm just kidding. No, they're doing some road work next to my house, so I do apologize for that if you guys can hear that. But anyways, without further delay, let's actually get into this video. So we're just going to go through some of the things we already knew were in there, but just for the people who may not have noticed. So one thing is a firing range, and we do see that a lot of people could be in the firing range at the same time. I know a lot of YouTubers have already had gameplay of this and everything, so I'm just going to go over this as fast as possible. So we also know it's competitive already. So we so anyways, I'm, that's about it. I don't want to spend any more time on it because everybody pretty much knows everything we know about that. Also, something we knew about but never really seen before: the score streak training area. So you'll just be able to pick up any score streak from wherever, and you'll be able to train with it inside the area. Now, I do understand why they're making this, but I don't think it's going to have a big use. But anyways, it's cool to have nonetheless. And then after this, we see a live firing range area, and this is pretty interesting. Of course, there's something I'll come back to in just a second. But first things first, let me talk about it because I'm pretty sure this is the 1v1 area where you go and challenge people to 1v1 so you fight in this little area and people could watch you from the side where you see of course the character walk from towards over there and so it looks pretty interesting I'm not too sure exactly how this is all going to turn out when the game actually comes out or how fun it's going to be but it looks pretty cool I think it has a ton of potential and also if we go back a little bit you can see a leaderboard for the 1v1 it even says 1v1 at the top and it'll show you guys a top player I'm guessing that's there at the top because if you look at this, you see this headquarters leaderboard or members leaderboard, of course, for 1v1. And you see all these different ranks. Of course, you see their level, but then you see the position. Now, the position is what's really interesting because you see the top person being positioned eight. And of course, it's the lowest or best position you could get compared to all the other ones because the next one is 12, 17, 56. And then, of course, just keeps getting higher and higher. So, like I said, I'm pretty sure whoever is there at the current time, I'm thinking is going to be ha is going to have the top player spot. Now, I'm pretty interested to see how that all works out it looks super fun like i said a while ago it, ha it looks like it has a ton of potential but we'll have to see how it turns out i also want to see how you spectate this are you really just going to look from here that kind of seems awkward but i don't know maybe there'll be a really cool way to spectate this and everything but that'd be cool just walk around and see number one ranked in 1v1 that would be so cool but anyways that's probably one of the coolest features that we've seen inside this new trailer thing it looks absolutely amazing we've heard about it before yes but we've never seen anything about it and also we didn't know about the leaderboard area right there and it looks just super cool also we see this thing and i'm pretty sure this is when you're prestiging because they say you could prestige inside the headquarters and people could see it and all that good stuff so i'm pretty sure that's what that is when you see the general looking guy standing there but anyways don't know if that's actually the case but that's just one thing i thought it was next one is something that i find very interesting i'm not too sure because we've again heard about this feature before but never seen it now the reason why i think it's kind of weird is because what it is is that when you're at the headquarters quarters you could defend against an air attack now this sounds pretty cool but i'm not too sure how it's going to work like are you just going to be randomly at headquarters and all of a sudden there's going to be a random air attack and everybody just has to go help defend against it even if you're in the middle of a 1v1 battle or testing your score streaks or something else doing something else in the scores in the headquarters are you going to just stop and start doing that it seems like a really cool thing and it could really capture you and make you feel like you're actually there but i just don't know how it's going to work exactly i don't think it'll be a big problem even if it does make you stop doing your 1v1 battle I don't think that's such a big deal but anyways it's just something I thought was interesting I'm just not too sure exactly how it's going to work the last two things I want to talk about are these other things that just popped up on the screen for just a couple frames each and this first one is a possible jester and this looks like a pretty interesting area so I'm thinking of course people like a lot of people say it's going to be like destiny the headquarters area except on another level but I'm thinking you could just be hitting your jesters while you're just walking around third person inside the headquarters because it looks like he's just outside of the 1v1 area and he's just doing a weird gesture so i'm thinking that's what it is and of course we're probably going to get gestures from supply drops but anyways that's what i'm thinking that is but we'll have to see when we actually get it also his clothing looks weird from all the other ones i'm not too sure if again that's from supply drops or not but again we'll have to see the next one i want to talk about is possible gun customization now i'm 100 percent sure we're actually going to get gun customization but the thing is i'm not too sure if this is actually it 
yet because you guys can see I'll have the frame frozen on screen right now but right now I'm not too sure if that's an actual customization because it just looks like some carvings into the side but people were saying it was so I don't know I don't think it that's exactly how it's going to look but it'd be cool but it's just it's not that visible so I don't think it's actually going to be the case but anyways that's about it for this trailer if I did miss anything inside this trailer go ahead and tell me down in the comments but anyways that's about it for this video if you guys did enjoy this video go ahead and thumbs up and share but also subscribe if you want to stay tuned for content some of this but I'm going to go and I will catch you guys on my next video.